Hello there friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And about to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. According to Vanguard newspaper, a source has alleged that the Igbos living in the riverine area in Lagos were told not to participate in the election process in Lagos State and that the person who told them said he received such an order from above. Narrating how an Igbo traditional ruler named Eze Chinedu Mose was disenfranchised on election day in Ibasa community in Lagos. The chairman of the Supreme Council of Ndiezi, Ndigo in Lagos, Eze Lawrence Eze, said, when Eze Mose, who is the leader of Igbo community, went out to exercise his civil responsibility on Saturday in Lagos, the Oba of Ibasa community accosted him and told him that the Igbos were no longer allowed to participate in any electoral process in Lagos State. Adding that, they got such order from above. According to the statement, on March 18, 2023, Eze Muzi went out as the leader of Igbo community in Ibasa, Riverine, to exercise his constitutional right of voting. In the course of doing this, he was accosted by the Oba of Ibasa community, who bluntly told him that the Igbos were no longer allowed to participate in any electoral process in Lagos State. That it was an order from above. Consequently, the Eze tried to defend himself to avoid being lynched and ran into a palace of the Oba who immediately summoned the police to effect the arrest of Eze Mose by the police from Panti, while Eze Mose was bleeding profusely from all parts of his body. Unable to walk or talk, and he is currently being detained at Panti. The source said, Eze Mose told the Oba that he has the constitutional right to vote since he pays his tax. The source said the explanation fell on deaf ears as the Oba of Ibasa authorized the youth of the community to descend on Mose and other Igbos who came out to vote. In a bid to defend himself, Mose ran into the palace of the Oba who immediately summoned the police to arrest him. Wow, what a revelation. Guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular New story, I said, where could this be another one? Hmm. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. If this is true and anything to go by, then it is really, really sad and unfortunate. Well, guys, we saw on social media, if uh, you care to check, you will definitely see, still see some clips on social media where people were being uh, uh, threatened, if that is the right word, I would say, and or announcements were being made at election uh, poll, at polling units, or at election points, or at different streets, and all that. That if you're not voting for a particular political party, do not come out to vote. And the question would be, why would it be so? This is a country where people have a freedom to speech freedom of expression and the freedom to vote whoever they feel they decide to vote but as it is it is no longer so even there were there are videos online or there was a video online rather that came out even prior to the governorship election where a particular uh, mc uluomo was say it was seen in that video telling people who would not vote for his party not to come out and vote he went ahead to debunk the claims in that video but at the end of the election he still came out to say that i hope 
the obedience could see that uh, Lagos is a no is not a no man's land. That Lagos is uh, Lagos belongs to the Yorubas. But be that as it were, on what grounds would uh, such a person who holds such a sensitive position in the state, you know, would come out and uh, express such uh, tribal remarks? It is sad and unfortunate, and it does not speak well of our leaders. It doesn't speak well of our community. It doesn't speak well of those in authority. How could someone say that he has an order from above that Igbos are no longer permitted or allowed to vote? It is sad and unfortunate. Are we playing the politics of ethnicity? If that is the case, then allow the Igbos to go. Give them Biafra. Give them what they want. Let them go and, you know, be among themselves. Let them go and rule themselves. If that is the case, you cannot claim that you do not want a particular set of people to participate in the, uh, the, the, the in choosing who rule the affairs of their land and you still refuse to grant them independence. Then it's as simple as APC, allow them to go, allow the evils to go and let them go and rule themselves. That was the clamoring of uh, Namdekano until he was chased down, arrested and, uh, you know, incarcerated in... In, in, in behind bars. The question remains that how does the leaders want to appeal to the Igbos on this particular um, uh, wrongdoings that has been given? We saw some violence in some places. We saw how some people were malhandled or mishandled. And so many uh, ills that trailed the governorship election in Lagos State. Does it be that the Yorubas in the Southeast also are not permitted to vote or are not permitted to exercise their, their, their rights to vote whoever they want to vote? It is sad and unfortunate that while some of those people are, you know, making these laws or taking these laws into their, their own hands, they refuse to uh, consider their brothers who are living in the other parts of the country. And by the time things begin to escalate or other tribes begin to take action, they will begin to also raise alarm and cry out that the people from this other part of the country are doing what is wrong. Don't forget that two wrongs can never make a right. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Please drop by. At the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so you can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support.